ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this Saturday, February the 16th edition. Let's get right to some Skycam images this morning as it's a beautiful morning, although clouds are increasing. Here's a shot from Chiha looking off to the east with a beautiful sunrise. We can see the effects of the sun on the buildings in downtown Montgomery this morning. And then here's another shot looking uh, basically east-southeast from Gadsden. And once again, beautiful sunrise. Looks like there's a little fog in the valleys down there. And uh, indeed, there, there is some patchy fog around. On our 500 millibar pattern this morning, we've got that uh, closed low uh, approaching El Paso and across northwestern Mexico, and that is what our focus will be on today. And here is a rather complicated surface pattern, and a couple of things I'll point out is that, uh, number one, we've got a large high-pressure system off to our north and northwest. And that high could help to actually set up a bit of a wedge. I don't think the wedge or cold air damming is going to cause a serious problem for us, but it may help to keep the air more stable over northern Georgia. And then, of course, the very complicated pattern over Texas, where that is the focus for severe weather today. Temperatures very warm. Look at that. 70s along the coast in Texas at this time of the morning in mid-February. Holy mackerel. And across central Alabama, we're generally in the 40s uh, with a relatively uniform temperature and air mass across much of Alabama this morning. A little bit of rain on the uh, radar as we're looking across the southeastern U.S. composite. And indeed, uh, we had a few light sprinkles yesterday uh, evening across central Alabama, but uh, nothing of any significance. It looks like the rain will stay primarily to our west for much of the day. QPF-wise, uh, as James pointed out yesterday, they've kind of come down in values, but it looks like between a half uh, and three quarters of an inch with the possibility that we may see some isolated amounts to one inch. The real focus, however, is on severe weather. Looks like we're going to see another fairly significant outbreak of severe weather, and the Storm Prediction Center has issued a public uh, severe weather outlook for these severe weather possibilities across the southern and southeastern Texas for today. That weather system will be ejecting tomorrow, and as it does, the slight risk will encompass a, a large portion of Alabama, Georgia, uh, northern and northwest uh, Florida, southeastern Mississippi, and southeastern Louisiana, as well as a little bit of the Carolinas. So we're going to be watching that carefully. Now, also in the day six or the, the four to eight day outlook, uh, Storm Prediction Center is out looking the possibility of severe weather on uh, day six, which is actually Thursday into Friday. All right, let's go ahead and get to the 06E GFS model run. Here is the closed low uh, today over uh, the Big Bend country of Texas, and that is expected to eject to the north northeast and should be approaching Chicago. Uh, in the uh, Mississippi River Valley area north of St. Louis on uh, 18Z or midday on Sunday tomorrow. And with that, surface low will be in the vicinity of Chicago as well with a nice winter storm for those folks up there with more snow for that area. And with us, it looks like the possibility of a squall line. And the GFS and the NAM have a little bit of differences on timing, but I think the main timing will be between about noon, maybe as early as 10 a.m. for the eastern, or pardon me, the western part of Alabama, and then uh, progressing on across the state. And it should be out of uh, the central Alabama area and the uh, designated market area of ABC 3340 by probably 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. And here's uh, just a quick look at the 850 millibar. Uh, pattern and look at that screaming jet once again we're going to have really good uh, uh, jet structure a lot of helicity is going to be there and cape is still um, the instability is still a little bit in question here's the map at 18z on sunday tomorrow and of course not not concerned i mean not uh, have no doubts about down along the gulf coast but uh, up here still a little bit of a doubt although spc has uh, brought the slight risk a little further north, and I do think we're going to have some threats, so it's uh, something we'll definitely need to watch. By uh, midnight, the front has reached uh, into Georgia, 
and that's taking the rain clear of us. By Monday, uh, the front is along the southeast Atlantic coast. We're getting a little wraparound moisture, and you see that colder air digging in there. And with that, we may see a few snow flurries, but I think especially in central Alabama, the possibilities are slim. You may see some across uh, Tennessee as well as the Tennessee River Valley. And then by Tuesday, the high settles in, and you can see those thicknesses. It's going to be a chilly morning, and uh, Monday is going to be absolutely a bit of a raw day as well. We have a relatively flat pattern across uh, this, the southern part of the United States, and this is 500 millibar pattern on Wednesday. And with that, the high pressure moving off to the east, and with that, moisture returning into uh, Texas. And that'll be our next weather system, although right now the GFS is not showing quite the strength and um, a little uh, kind of puzzled at the uh, strong outlook and the large area of outlook. But, of course, as the moisture returns, uh, we have to be watching for the possibility of severe weather. Uh, the trough on the west moves our way into the central plains on Friday, and that will uh, also help to develop that low in there uh, across uh, uh, Oklahoma and Texas, and that moves on up into the Great Lakes, and you can see that that continues to keep us in a relatively uh, wet pattern. And as a matter of fact, with uh, somewhat of a a zonal flow aloft it makes it hard for the front to get through, and the GFS still forecasting the possibility of some rain on Sunday. Now let's go out into voodoo land. This is the 26th and uh, still remaining an active pattern, and that's probably the, the main message we've got here. Uh, low pressure on the 26th. Another storm system, so another shot at some rain, which, of course, we can use. Somewhat of a zonal flow pattern by the end of uh, February. And with that, uh, I think the GFS has gone completely nuts here with this large amount of rain. I just don't see that. But with a front lying across here, I mean, I think the possibility of rain is definitely there. And then the pattern gets active again on the 2nd of March with a fairly strong uh, upper trough, and that bringing another wet system through here. Well, we appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Don't forget, we're coming up on the storm alert in Lineville and then Moody, but Lineville will be this next Thursday. Certainly hope that you can come out if you're in the area. Certainly hope you have a great weekend. God bless.